Hey guys, welcome to the video. Welcome back to the garage. Good to have you here. This is going to be another electrical episode. If you watched episode one, I cut the access hole on where I wanted to install the electrical box. In this episode, I'm going to measure out and fabricate the electrical box and install it inside where I made the access panel. So let's go squeeze into the back of the bug and I'll show you what I've got so far. So here's the access door that we made in episode one. I don't have any bolts in here, so all I gotta do is open this up. This is where we're gonna wanna install the electrical box. This is the junction box that I'm gonna be using. I'm not gonna go into detail on this right now. I'll go over this in another video, but this is the junction box I'm gonna use. I'm gonna want it to sit somewhere around here. This is the battery I'm going to be using. My end game is to have two of them. I've only got one for now. I want this to sit somewhere over here. And I wanna be able to put another one somewhere over here. I wanna allow some room for the transaxle. I don't wanna to be too close to the transaxle. This is my shifter coupling. I don't wanna cover the shifter coupling. I wanna be able to open this panel and access and make adjustments to this shifter coupling without having to remove the electrical box. I'm also going to install the electrical box so that if needed, it can be removed. I'll probably have to disconnect a couple of wires to do that, but what I mean is I want to run my wire looms in a manner that allows me to remove this so that I can have access to the transaxle and anything else that I need to. I've basically taken measurements of my fuse block. That's what's going to determine how wide it is. I've made it so it's just wide enough to handle this and have about an inch and a half on each end. And then I've made it wide enough this way so that it just clears the transaxle before it takes an angle down for the batteries. So what it's going to do is it's going to have a flat section in the middle here, then it's going to taper down and it's going to have an area on each side for the for the batteries to sit down into. And then those will have foam packed around them to protect them. And then it's gonna tie into this tab. There's another tab just like this one, just beyond these hinges. So when I make this box, then it'll have a flange welded on the top that'll tie in these four points for it to bolt to. Then when you close the top, the uh, electrical box will have some gasketing on the top. So when you close the top, it'll somewhat seal the top of the electrical box to keep water out. It's not going to be waterproof and I'll actually put a couple of drain holes in it but I'm making it just so that as the tires back here are kicking and splashing mud and water around it'll be sealed enough just to keep most of that debris out of the electrical box. So what I've done because this is a real, this is a pretty intricate piece and I don't want to waste any time welding and, and cutting aluminum I took the measurements that I took yesterday and I made this, uh, this is a paper, basically mock-up of exactly what I want the aluminum box to be. You can see looking at it from the front there, it's flat in the middle and then on either side it tapers down for the batteries. So the box is going to fit right around here. It'll have a little lip around the edge and it'll have some flanges going from here through here to the tab on the back side. Fuse block will install right in the middle there. That will give me enough access to get all the wires in and out and it will give me some room around here for some wire looms. Then the battery will slide down in here and then I'll be able to adjust where that goes with foam. And then same thing, the second battery will go over here. So that fits. And I'm happy with that. Now, what you're not seeing is I made uh, two or three versions of this before I had a design that I liked. And each one, you know, I would trim it here, trim it there, add some here, add some there, change the angles until I had this one, which, which fits what I want. That's why when I do something a little bit more intricate like this, I'll make it, if it's, uh, if it's small enough and if I can, I'll make it out of uh, construction paper first so that I can get all the little nitty-gritty stuff out of the way before I waste my time with the aluminum.
here's what I've got. I've got the uh, aluminum electrical box. This is the exact same dimensions as that one that I had made out of construction paper. I just cut out all the pieces, welded it together, and then I added I added this piece running along here, and then I added a brace to it here to give it some strength. It'll bolt up just like that. And then that'll allow me to be able to install the distribution block and the batteries. So what I'm going to do right now before I install this for the next step here is as long as I have it out, I'm going to mount this fuse block and I'm going to cut the foam for the battery. Then I'm going to take this back and I'm going to bolt it up. When the electrical box is in here, I'll put a screw through here and then screw it through there and then when this comes down there will be a portion of that bolt that sticks out here and then I'll just put a wing nut on there to hold that in place. So here's the electrical box. Now I installed the fuse distribution box. I installed the battery. I cut some foam for the battery so the battery's wedged in there with the foam. I don't have the other battery yet but when I do it'll go in here just like this one. Um, I also drilled some holes at the low parts where the batteries go so that it, when, I'm not going to say if, when some water gets in there it'll have a place to drain out. So I'm going to go take it over, install it in the bug, and then we'll have one more look at it with its final installation. This is my access panel. Open up the access panel. Underneath here now, we've got the electrical box. The box we just made. It's extremely sturdy because I made it out of pretty heavy gauge aluminum. Probably like, it's not eighth inch, but it's probably like maybe 095, 080 aluminum. It's probably 095. It's uh, welded solid all the way around, so it's really, really strong, which is good because I want it to be able to protect these lithium batteries from any rocks bouncing around underneath the bug or anything like that. This will eventually have some gasket tape up and around here so that when you close this lid, it somewhat seals this. It's only sealing it to keep rocks and debris and water from splashing in and around there. It's not meant to be waterproof. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope possibly this gives you some ideas, maybe motivates you to go out in the garage or wherever and work on something your own. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.